Hello, Lisa here. It's day five for me here in Helsinki. <clears throat> but I've been nursing COVID. Lucky me. And so I'm finally out of the hotel room today after finally being released from isolation. And this looks to me like it is the opera house. A beautiful, interesting structure. And I'm not sure what that big old historical thing is, but I would suspect City Hall or something similar. And this is a really cool sculpture. Not a great angle. Let's move over. Look at him. So cool. Sort of giant fish. With his mouth open to the sky. I love it. Next to some creature with a head made of wood and a body made of wood. It's really interesting. Over here must be a museum. It says no war in big letters. So either it's a history museum or something to do with a war. That one doesn't look like it's done yet, but I suspect it is, and it's supposed to look like that. It seems to be a mall. And this, I believe, is the famous library that was just built. It was opened in 2019 to celebrate 100 years, I think, of Finnish uh, independence, I believe. And it's more than just a library. There's a movie theater in there, all kinds of community spaces. I'm not going to go inside because my being out of quarantine doesn't mean I can go into spaces. But I wanted you to see it because it's beautiful and it's right next to lots of people on scooters here. Right next to a really nice park. Let's try not to get run over. Quick! There are so many cyclists in Europe. We should really get on that in the United States. But the park, it extends all the way down. You can see that really cool sculpture of sort of a tree. And it extends all the way down to one of the many, many lakes in Helsinki. Helsinki is pretty much made up of lakes and Baltic, Baltic Sea and islands. And in the far distance, you can see the uh, obligatory amusement park that's very old. And I'm sure that everybody has to pose right here by the Helsinki sign. And in fact, see it? I feel that I must do it as well. Hello, there's the Helsinki sign. We just arrived at the train station. Beautiful, huge, imposing building. Very modern. Everything's very modern in this part of town. That's a good holiday inn to stay at if you're coming by train. Let's take a look inside. I just found my way and the platforms are outside. Doesn't look like that much of a train station. Looks like a commuter train over there. And here we are in the real train station. That's very nice. Seems to be like a train station mall. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the view coming out of the main entrance of the train station. It does seem to be the Plaza Principal, the main plaza, the city of Helsinki, or one of the main plazas for sure. Sorry about the finger in there. It's normally Bob's job, but he's feeling a little under the weather. So I'm doing my best to pick up the slack. We're going to walk out onto the plaza, take a look at some of these gorgeous historic buildings while trying not to get run over by buses because this is clearly the main bus place too. Here's Alexis, K-I-V-I, who I assume must be either the founder of Helsinki or a former king or something. Right now I am at the Olympic complex, the Helsinki Olympic complex. I can see that there's another uh, Another stadium right there, and behind me is the main Olympic Stadium, and I am on one of the soccer fields. <laughs> yes, indeed. You can see the artificial turf right under my feet as I walk across 
the soccer field at Helsinki Olympic Stadium. I would think this big thing next to me is probably track and field. We are coming upon here along the coast of Helsinki, a monument called the Sibelius Monument. This was dedicated to Finnish composer John Sibelius, and it was an example of abstract art that the uh, people didn't really like when it first came up. She won, Ella, Ella Hiltunen won a competition to create this monument, but to appease the crowds that didn't like this piece of abstract art, there was added a sculpture of the bust of Sibelius. There's something to be seen inside the monument. Sorry about the wind. It's fall, we're right by the water. Let's go inside. Aha! Check that out. Now at the entrance to Cafe Regatta, which is a must-eat place here in Helsinki if you make your way to the edge of the water. Just this little 1876 house and outdoor seating, which is going to be cold. But guess what? I'm just getting over COVID. I should eat outside anyway. See what they got. You know they have cinnamon rolls. They have an amazing view of the rocket and rolling. You see? Outdoor seating. So we're out walking in Helsinki. evangelical Lutheran church that has been built into a rock in this high point here in Helsinki and it may not look like much from the outside but apparently it's quite phenomenal Kyria Church. Aha! This looks like a main entrance. As much as something that's dug into the ground can have one. Aha! I see an entrance. Here we are inside the Church on the Rock. I paid five euros to get in. That's what it looks like. Gandic Park Hotel in Helsinki. Skandik. It's on a major boulevard with the park across the street 
and a lake. You can see through the trees, some beautiful fall foliage on the other side of the park. This has been our home since we arrived in Helsinki on the 29th of September when I was COVID positive and no one has lived in this room who has not been at least one person COVID positive since we got here. I was positive the first five days, Bob was negative. But on October 3rd, his luck turned. And so now it's been both of us for a while here in the Scandic Park. Meanwhile, I have felt better and he has felt worse. I'm recording this on October 7th, I believe, when I feel totally fine. But I'm still COVID positive. And Bob still feels like crap. But here it is. Our home.